Welcome to our Tzenu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Israel. Join us on this week's amazing adventure. Normally, we travel to Israel to tour our homeland, but this week we will be taking a slight detour to another nearby country in Africa called Uganda. safari in Africa and visit Namibia and Zambia. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Bears aren't common in Africa. Why? You ever take a stroll in a fur coat in really hot weather? Nope. Well, a bear wouldn't want to do it either. Okay, now let's get back to the song. So many places to go and we can start with Niger. But in Burundi and Botswana, we'll go there and then visit Ghana. I bet you didn't know English is the official language of Nigeria. Togo sits right below a country called Burkina Faso. We should visit Masiru, which is the capital of Lesotho. Kenya, Chad, Malawi, Congo, Zimbabwe, Sudan, Gabon, Morocco, Mali, Uganda, and Cameroon. Mali, Uganda. Let's take a trip to Uganda. Uganda has north borders that are beautiful snow-capped mountains and on the south the country sits on beautiful Lake Victoria. Country it is rich with culture that include food, traditions, and many other exciting aspects. It is a country with many, many children. In 2012, the Ugandan Little League team qualified for the International Little League World Series in Pennsylvania. Both big cities and rural living areas throughout the entire country. In 1894, Uganda was under British rule, and then on October 9, 1962, Uganda declared its independence from Britain. Uganda also plays an important role in Jewish history. Theodor Herzl had suggested it as one of the possible places to include a Jewish homeland. It is also the home of the famous miraculous story of Entebbe. Of its deep culture is a culture of drumming, dancing, and communal celebrations. 